Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So before understanding the question, I want to share something with you. Now if you see the job market is not at all stable and you can see very less number of openings in different firms. And once the job market get opens, there will be so much flow into the market and there will be so many people competing with you for a less number of openings. So if you really completely on data structures, then it will be not a good idea because so many people are doing data structures and I, do, I, I will not say that you should stop doing. You should do at least two to three problems per day, but don't really on that because if you see if there is one job opening and there are two people and both are good at data structures and algorithms so what differentiate between these two is the projects the technologies which he learned suppose if he learned some uh, AIML or web development and this guy only knows DSA so uh, obviously this person will be chosen right so don't rely on completely data structures if you are if you are getting bored doing data structures for some time go and learn some new technologies build some projects now you can see AML, AML is trending in the market so you can go and learn what what is large language model and how you can build the projects out of it so this will give an added advantage so man both over yeah? now let's understand the problem so but that is the most important thing right so do like parallelly do DSA and learn technologies now before let's understand the problem so here you are given a given a string of s and a lowercase english letters and your task is to remove the minimum number of parentheses so he has given the string s and it contains open braces closed braces and english characters and we need to remove the minimum number of parentheses in any position so that resulting parenthesis string is valid and we need to return any valid string and he is saying any valid string formally a parenthesis string is valid if and only if and only if it is an empty string contains only lowercase letters only lowercase as I mentioned it can be written as a b a concatenated with b where a and b are valid strings okay and it can be written as closed b like this so where a is an valid string so I think you have got it so in this uh, in this problem we are going to discuss three interview approaches so for better understanding of the solution please watch till the end so first let's understand the example now he has given lead code now you can see here we got you can count like open braces and closed braces here total number of open braces are two right and the closed braces are i will repaint with o and closed braces are three so you can remove at least one closed brace so which i can remove here so you can see here this is my pattern right this is my pattern and if you can see this is independent of my characters independent of characters because uh, any number of characters can be present between two parentheses any number of characters can be present between two parentheses so I can I can neglect it out and he's saying that it, it can it can form like this as well so there can't be any string in this so this is also an uh, this is also an valid parenthesis we can see now if you see here now if you see we got this string and we have lead code and you need to remove any one of this or you can remove how many you can remove here I can remove this I can remove this if you are removing this my overall string will be open open closed closed and this will get removed this will get removed he did not give in the answer or else I can remove this right or else I can remove this in this solution he has removed this so this is my uh, this can be my answer and you can see here I can remove this as well this one right so if it is removed this so you can give any 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 number any different parenthesis as is accepted we have to return any valid string so this or this or you can go with this L E E open T C O D E. This is also a valid string, right? This is open, this is open, closed, closed. So I can remove the last string. So this is also my valid string. Whenever you see parenthesis in the question and he is saying that you want the valid parenthesis, thumb rule guys, like you need to think about stack. Whenever you get valid parenthesis, any question related to parenthesis, first think about stack and let's think like how you can implement the stack. 
now you can see how many in uh, how many invalid parentheses can be formed so in interview it's better to write I mean, it's better to write all the invalid parentheses so you can see here this is my invalid parentheses and here you can see my extra uh, open bracket has occurred and here my extra close bracket is there and here I have only open brace this is my completely invalid open and closed and here you can see this is my valid but this is not an invalid so how you can do this now if you see here we are independent of the English letter characters because I don't care about this because you can see here if the parenthesis in this way then it is also in a valid sign because that is, there is no necessary to have any characters in between so okay so I don't care about this characters I only need valid parenthesis so how you can do that it's simple try to eliminate all the characters and try to think so this is an easy problem guys if you know why we are eliminating the English letter characters only considering the parenthesis so finding this will be an easy and the next step we will go with so think about it how you will uh, know this is invalid so you can use count variables right you can use count variables so uh, we have solved three days before I think we choosing count and if you are getting open braces we are incrementing the count and if you are getting closed braces we are decrementing the count and if my count is we are not going to negative if my count is less than zero we are telling that this is an invalid so in this way we have solved it right so but here the main important thing is indexes and now if you see uh, we have this parenthesis so first I will push uh, into the stack so consider this as a stack and first I will push open brace uh, let's use some first I will push open brace then I will push an open brace then open brace then we have closed so we need to remove this we have removed and then we have removed this so while removing this we need this index right we need this index to make it invalid so here you need the indexes to make it invalid so we'll try to make this parenthesis invalid so we need to store the indexes so I will use stack I will use stack and I will try to store all the indexes so it's simple now when you are having this type of string so these are my like open 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 closed closed and we have indexes as 0 1 2 3 4 and first I will push 0 then I will push 1 then I will push 2 when I get the a closed parenthesis that means my stack is not empty and I will eliminate it I will remove it and this is my index 0 right this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 at index 0 I will use some visited variable and I will make visited of 0 equals to false let's let's make it false if it is false then we will iterate and we will check if my visited is false then I will not consider this parenthesis so it's simple now let's see this example now if you have open open close 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 and these are my indexes are 0 1 2 3 and 4 when you get an open braces so I will add into the stack 0 is added into the stack then I will add 1 then I got the closed braces so I will pop it out then I got one more closed braces I pop it out now my stack is empty if my stack is empty what I will do is at this index visited of 4 will be not valid I will make it 0 it's simple right it's simple try to uh, try to solve this problem by yourself I think you have got this uh, logic we will be visiting visited and we will going to iterate the visited and we will check if my visited is 0 I will not append to my final answer so try to think about the <coughs> logic and try to code by yourself I think you have thought about the solution for quite some time and you are able to code it so if you aren't able to code let's see the approach let's see the approach so here we are using the visited and we are making we are first we are calculating the size then we are using the visited so everything we are making as true so first I will say that my complete string is a valid string suppose if you are getting like this I will say that yes all are my valid string anyway anyway if you are getting uh, like this see this is also my valid string first thing I will make it this then if my characters are smaller case if s of i is greater than or equals to a or s of i less than or equals to z then I will say continue I don't uh, want to disturb those characters if my s of i is open parenthesis if it is an open parenthesis as you mentioned earlier we will push into the stack st.push i 
and if my close parenthesis has occurred closed parenthesis has occurred and i will check if my stack is not empty that means that means if my stack is not empty uh, if i got open brace then simultaneously got the closed braces then my stack will be not be empty i will put pop the open brace as you can see here we have popped it right we have popped it so it's like open 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 closed closed first i am getting open brace i will push then i will push push when i am getting closed braces i will check check whether my stack is empty or not my stack is not at all empty so i will pop it out so same thing here i popped it so if my stack is empty suppose suppose you are getting uh, if you are getting like this open open and closed open open and sorry uh, this is my value closed and closed first i will push open brace then i got the closed brace i will pop it out then i got the closed brace still my stack is no stack is empty here so it will come here and i will say visited of i is equal to 0 that means we are making it false we are making it false and final check final check why we are going with the final check suppose if you have the characters open 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 and we have closed closed first i will push open 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 then i will pop it out two characters then my extra character is remaining right for those all extra characters i will make it visited of st dot top 0 and i will pop it out finally this is my answer and if my visited of i is equals to 1 then i will push back all the s of i all the s of i i will push back into my answer and finally i am going to return it so if you see here here my time complexity will be order of n so you can see here only a single loop and coming to the space we are using two extra spaces we are using stack and we are using visited array so it will be n plus n okay this is my first approach you will discuss with the interviewer then interviewer will suggest so can you try to uh, reduce this re reduce this visited array space so if you want to reduce this so you will give a different solution you will say okay let's let me think about it so we have string right so instead of using string so can I, you can ask the one question can i modify the string if interviewer says okay then you should go with okay i will modify i will try to modify the string so instead of using visited of i is equals to 0 what i will do is it's simple i will make s of i is equals to hash s of i is equals to hash that means i am saying that this is not an invalid this is an invalid so is an invalid s of i equals to we are modifying the string so most of the interviewer will say you should not modify but if your interviewer agrees like you can modify the existing string so you can go with the slash you can you you can eliminate the visited and instead of this visited of i i will using s of i is equals to slash and hash sorry hash and we are going with the string and s of i not equals to hash then i will push back into my answer it's simple we are replaced with visited of i to we are modifying this so this is my second approach here also you can see my time will be order of n and my same my space will be order of n so then the interviewer will say can you optimize the space can you optimize the space to order of 1 so uh, space optimization will be a bit tricky one so i personally could not came up with that approach but i have seen the solution stack and i found one solution which was more relevant so i will try to discuss those and it's not generally like in the worst case scenario if two people are there a and b and same question is asked by the same interviewer to the both the people then if someone is coming with order of one approach order of one approach so any how he will get shortlisted right so we don't want to lose the any opportunity because the opportunities are very minimum and we want to maximize those so let's see how you can solve with order of one so this is the open closed principle we can call not solid principles open closed not that one but open closed is something which we will use for parenthesis you can find this open closed principle in um, uh, low level design like solid principles open and closed principles is one of the famous principles so we with that we can our code will be extensible so let's not discuss about that let's discuss those things in the future now you got the string s we got open and closed and we are using some flag so i will explain you what does the flag means now if you see c of i is equals to open brace and i am open plus plus and flag plus plus open plus plus and flag if my c of i is equals to closed closed that means i am saying that this open and close is for the counting 
is for the counting number of open parenthesis and closed parenthesis are there and flag is for checking valid valid open closed parenthesis valid open closed so here we are going with open plus plus and flag plus plus and s of i is equals to open and my flag greater than equals to zero then only i will increment the close because if you see here we got open closed closed if the first it will my open and my open will be one and then it's my closed parenthesis and flag is greater than zero my close will be one and now you can see my flag has decremented so you can see my flag then i got the closed parenthesis but my flag is greater than zero so that is not a valid one right that is not a valid one so from here i will check minimum of open comma close so these are k is number of my valid parenthesis that means this k like number of open parenthesis or number of closed parenthesis is my k now we have an answer open is equals to k and close is equals to k we can have total number of open parenthesis equals to minimum and close also minimum and then we will iterate c and we will iterate and if my c is equals to open parenthesis and my open is greater than zero i will append into the answer and i will decrease my open and i will say continue uh, then then if my c is equals to closed parenthesis closed parenthesis first i will check my close should be greater than zero then only i can include my closed parenthesis then i need to check close should be greater than open close should be greater than open because because if you see here my open is going suppose my open is 2 and my close is 2 and my open open i got two opens and i got my close i got my close and then i have close again close is greater than 0 and my open will be here 0 so i got the close again and if you have one more close if you have one more close which will be greater right greater so we are using close minus minus and we are saying continue and or else finally i am appending the character answer equals to answer plus c and finally we are returning the answer so this part guys open close greater than open let me think so i thought about it but um, now if you see my close is greater than zero my close is greater than yes my close should be definitely greater than zero and my close should be greater than open because anyhow it will be a valid string but if you see if my closes are 3 and my opens are 4 it's not a valid thing but suppose consider consider it is in a valid scenario so because this never occurs you can only uh, go with close greater than 0 yeah yeah why 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 yeah i got it why now if you see uh, my open is equals to 3 and my close equals to 3 so in the beginning only i got my close in the beginning only i got my close now you will come here you will come here you will check my close is greater than zero my close is greater than zero and my close is greater than open right my close is greater than open three three is not greater than three three is not greater than three. this is my false statement so i will i will not include this closed parenthesis into my answer closed parenthesis into my answer suppose if my parenthesis is like this then this will be omitted this will be omitted in the beginning that's why we are using this scenario so i think you have got it so this is uh, not like uh, if you have time and if you are think you can do this then you can come up with this approach or interviewer will say inter mostly by this approach interviewer will say you oh, okay you are good enough solving data structures and algorithms so i think you have got it and then this the time will be order of n and my space will be order of one order of one so i think you have understood it and if you learn something new from this video please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so i think my initial inputs will help you so you can connect i have created a whatsapp community you can join there for discussions about the problems and i have created a um, top mate like top mate profile and you can there uh, ask me anything like this it is free mostly and it, it will charge in very less so you can connect with there and connect me on LinkedIn. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.